name is Tyler Oakley and today I had a vision. I had a vision of love. Okay, so not that kind of vision, but I actually had a vision of my aspirations in life. Oh, my aspiration in life. Wow, that's that's a great question. Okay, enough songs. Well, when I'm thinking about my aspirations in life, it's really actually kind of hard to kind of try to decide what I want to do with my life. Sometimes I think so far down the line where I'm like, yes, I want to do that. Yes, I want to do that. Yes, I want to do that. But I can't really like visualize them. So a couple of years ago, I made this. It's my vision board from 2012. I don't know if you can kind of see all of it. I'm not going to explain it in this video because in my last video in 2012, I really went and like explained every single thing of it. But I guess the basis of it is back in 2012 I was kind of trying to figure out what I was doing with my time on earth and so a lot of the biggest question was what kind of Tyler are you I guess the goal was to figure that out and kind of prioritize what I thought I wanted to do and kind of try to accomplish those things I think in the meantime since then and now I've kind of figured that out in my own little way I'm still of course working on that and trying to figure out day by day but for the time being I think I want to remain Forever me. That is kind of the theme of my vision board this year, and it's split into a whole bunch of quadrants. I'm gonna explain each one, so don't worry. Over here is kind of how I reward myself in life. I am not very into like worldly possessions. I have kind of rearranged that to now I am into travel and getting away and taking time for myself and things like that. So this is a little section where I focus on the goals that I have for traveling and the places that I find comfort in. Um, right here is San Francisco. It has a special place in my heart and it's all about finding my happy and it, making time to get away because it's really hard because I really get caught up in work and although it may not seem like work, a lot of what I do takes a toll and so taking time for me is important and taking time for anybody is important. Whether you are a YouTuber or uh, have a 9 to 5 job or you are a student, taking time to really let yourself escape for a minute, whether it's a location or a hobby or whatever it is that helps you escape, it's important. Up here are a couple of other facets of my life that I want to focus on. Right here it says spend your morning wisely. I am so bad about just being lazy in bed in the morning and not getting up and actually accomplishing things in my day. And with that, I want to get up and I want to be active. I think that is the best way to start your day is to really just focus on taking care of your body and getting your body ready to accomplish and tackle the entire day. So that is right here. I kind of hate it, but I need to focus on it. Over here it says say it loud over a couple of people talking into microphones because I feel like I want to use my platform to speak and to say something and at the end of the day if I don't make an impact, what am I doing with my life? Over in this corner I have a whole bunch of like self help-ish sort of things, making sure that I am peaceful and at peace and not stressed, and whether that is finding somebody to talk to, or it's being positive and just taking a moment to relax, or if it's like keeping it real and being honest with myself. And I think my favorite part of this little corner is this born again and again portion because it reminds me that there is no final version of myself and if I am inspired to be a better person, I can do it. So down here in this corner are a lot of people that really inspire inspire me. Beyonce, Gaga, Oprah, Ellen, people that I just have found inspiration in and you know power in and they empower me and so I reminded myself to flaunt my sparkle and to unleash my spirit because I feel like these four women really really do that and I want to be inspired by them to do the same thing and to hopefully use my little video thing that we've got going on here to hopefully inspire you to do the same. And one of the biggest cutouts of words that I have on my poster is just this get it because I I feel like if there's something that you want, then you can just get it. If you, if you try hard enough, if you work hard enough, if you make it happen, if you remind yourself that this is going to happen, then you can get it. So I'm just gonna get it. And finally, the last thing in this corner, it just says stay extraordinary because although there are some days where I'm just like, yes, I am just killing it, I am loving it, I am living life to the fullest, I am happy with myself, blah, 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 blah. Some days I don't feel that and I need to remind myself to stay who I am. And I know I am, you are, everybody on this planet has a capability to be extraordinary. So I need to remind myself, do it because you are it if you believe you're it and you are stepping up to the plate and doing it. And finally, for the last little corner of my vision board, I have a section dedicated to romance and love. And although I am pretty pessimistic online about just like boys in general and just like, ugh, they suck. At the end of the day, I know that in my heart of hearts, it's important to me and I am a romantic. I just 
want at the end of the day, just like anybody I think, to fall in love, be in love, be loved, and have that support system. So I wanted to remind myself of that and to know that even though I may be desiring something like hot and passionate, it also has to be healthy because I am not here to be treated like shit. I'm a grown-ass man who demands a grown-ass man who is going to treat me with respect and love and kindness and compassion. So that is something I want to remind myself of because it's easy to just kind of settle and fall for things that are comfortable, but at the end of the day, if it's not something that's like supportive and good and makes me a better person, then I don't want that in my life. And if I'm gonna be honest, it kind of feels weird to talk about this in like a little video because it's like a very vulnerable thing and like very personal, but I want to be honest with you guys, so. And finally, down here, I have two little parts where it says help and work because I feel like they can go hand in hand. With my work, I want to help people. And while I'm helping people, I want to be doing good work. So that is that part. And finally, this little last part, it says you have the right to save. People don't think that they have the power to change lives. People don't think that they have the power to do good in the world. And I feel like intrinsically, just by being born, you have the right, if not the responsibility, to use your life to help save others in whatever capacity, whether it's day-to-day -day stuff, whether it's life-changing stuff, whatever it is you do to help other people, that is the reason to be here. That is the reason to be alive. So that is a reminder I want to remind myself of every single day. And with all of those things combined, I want to stay forever me. This is just the cheesiest thing I've ever done, except my last vision board video. So that is all I have for you guys this week. If you liked this video, I know it was a little different, but if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, I make new videos every Tuesday and Friday, a Tuesday Q&A, a Friday regular video. Below is my latest regular video in Q&A. If you want to see that, it's the Chicken Nugget Challenge. If you want to see that, it's fucking funny, so click it. And then over there is my person of the week. If you want to be my person of the week, just click right there. You might be next week's person of the week. That's all. I hope you have a fabulous life, and I will see you guys next time. Later. Okay, Tyler, that is enough.